Today's news are, fans fear BTS's producer, p Dog might be leaving HYBE. Fans accuse HYBE of sabotaging Jimin. Suga pressured to start an acting career and more BTS news. On the 17th of January, a significant announcement came from Big Hit Entertainment regarding a special listening party for Jimin's solo debut album, Face, on Station Head. This event was part of the celebrations for the album's comeback week. Jimin had initially unveiled Face in March, introducing the world to a collection of six tracks, with Like Crazy being the standout title song. Unexpectedly, a wave of accusations arose from fans, pointing fingers at HYBE for purportedly neglecting to include the sales figures of Like Crazy in the official counts. This alleged omission, according to the fans, played a role in the track not making it to the top 90 of the Hot 100 chart for the week, spanning January 12th to January 18th, with these details coming to light on January 30th. Displeased fans took to social media platforms to voice their frustrations, levying allegations of intentional undermining of the artist by the agency. One social media user in particular called for clarity amidst the unfolding drama. Reports from listeners indicated that during the comeback week for Face, all versions of Like Crazy dominated the top spots on both Amazon and iTunes for several days. Chart data revealed a staggering surge in the U.S. digital sales of the song in the last week. Furthermore, the track secured a record-breaking number of streams for a K-pop solo artist song in the U.S. during that week. Despite these impressive figures, fans argued that the U.S. digital sales were inexplicably left out of the previous week's data, consequently affecting Jimin's rankings on various Billboard charts, including the Hot 100. These fans accused HYBE of unethical practices, suggesting that this exclusion hindered Like Crazy from reaching its potential top 90 position on the Hot 100 chart during the comeback week. They also pointed out that these sales were only factored into the following week's data, thus hindering the track's recharting potential. The central bone of contention for fans was HYBE's failure to incorporate and submit the U.S. digital sales within the specified comeback week, a move that they believe cost like crazy its rightful place on the Hot 100 charts. The fans contended that had these sales been added in the previous week, the song would have comfortably secured a spot in the top 90 of the Hot 100 chart. This led to an outcry among fans, who accused the agency of sabotaging the singer's success and preventing a possible re-entry onto the charts. There was a collective call for answers from HYBE labels regarding the delayed report of the U.S. digital sales and inquiries into why this issue predominantly affected the album's lead track. In a contrasting note, Like Crazy enjoyed success on the Billboard Global 200 and Global 200 Songs charts, where it remained for 43 consecutive weeks post-release, excluding the U.S. charts. However, an anomaly occurred during the comeback week as the song was initially absent from these charts, despite a spike in streaming numbers. Fan protests led to a swift resolution within eight hours, resulting in the song's re-entry on the charts. Nevertheless, the Hot 100 charts and other charts influenced by the sales figures are still awaiting rectification. On January 29th, the BTS fan community was thrilled with the release of a teaser for an upcoming episode of Suchwita, featuring Min Yoongi and the South Korean actress Lee Sung Kyung. This episode, set to be a highlight of the show, was introduced by Suga himself, who warmly welcomed Lee Sung Kyung as an energetic and vivacious guest. Lee Sung Kyung is slated to grace Yoongi's online table talk show with her presence. The teaser sparked considerable excitement among fans, especially when Lee Sung Kyung casually mentioned her close friendship with the rapper. She amusingly pointed out that within their circle of friends, Suga is affectionately regarded as the youngest. Further stirring the fan base, she disclosed that many of their actor friends have encouraged Suga to explore a career in acting, a revelation that left the armies astounded. The much-awaited episode 26 of Suchwita featuring Suga is scheduled to premiere on February 5th. The teaser showcases a candid discussion between Suga and Lee Sung Kyung, where they delve into her memorable role in Dr. Romantic. Lee Sung Kyung shares insights into her experiences with the medical field and patient care during the filming. Suga, ever the witty host, humorously comments on the impact such intense roles can have on one's spirit. Adding to the anticipation, the teaser reveals some intriguing insights about the duo's friendship. Lee Sung Kyung mentions how their dynamic shifts when they are with their group of friends, where Suga, usually one of BTS's older members, becomes the endearing youngest member. She highlights the uniqueness of their bond, noting how they always look out for each other's well-being. 
In a heartwarming moment, Lee Sung Kyung expresses her group's unwavering support for Suga, remarking that they see him as a cherished younger sibling and encourage his ventures, even suggesting a potential shift to acting. Their conversation also ventures into the possibility of Suga pursuing acting, a path highly recommended by his friends in the acting community. This suggestion left the BTS army in a state of surprise. As many were unaware of Suga's connections with actors or his potential acting talents, the depth of their friendship is further illustrated in their playful banter, with Lee Sung Kyung expressing a desire to remake Suga's song, Dai Chuita. Suga's humorous response regarding her potential rendition adds to the light-hearted atmosphere of the teaser. The episode promises to be filled with moments that will bring smiles and laughter to viewers. The Suchuita are pre-recorded as the members are currently fulfilling their military service duties. This provides the BTS army with joyful content during their absence. The release of the latest Suchuita teaser has led to a flurry of reactions on Twitter, with fans expressing excitement over Lee Sung Kyung's appearance and pondering over the new aspects of Yoongi's life that were revealed, particularly his role as the youngest in his friend group and his hidden acting skills. Lee Sung Kyung, a celebrated actress in the Korean entertainment industry, is known for her impactful roles in various projects. Harper's Bazaar Korea recently provided fans with an exclusive glimpse into the creative process of hairstylist Choi Mu Jin, who collaborated with BTS V for the magazine's February 2024 issue. The issue featured V in a strikingly different avatar, showcasing long, silver-blue hair that has since become a topic of fascination among fans. Choi Mu Jin, the mastermind behind V's unique hairstyle, opened up about the elaborate process behind this transformation. This reveal came nearly three months after the magazine's release, highlighting the detailed work that went into creating a specialized wig for V, ensuring his appearance aligned perfectly with the conceptual vision of the project. In one of V's final photo shoots before his military enlistment, the global audience was captivated by his portrayal, which was unlike anything seen before. V appeared shirtless, flaunting six-pack abs, and wore real long blue hair, giving off a vibe reminiscent of classic anime characters. While fans were enthralled by this new look, the extensive effort that went into creating it was largely unknown until now. On January 30th, 2024, Harper's Bazaar Korea sat down with Choi Mujin to delve into the specifics of this dramatic transformation. Mujin, known for his long-standing association with BTS and particularly V, has been instrumental in crafting some of their most iconic hairstyles over the years. During this exclusive interview, Mujin discussed the creative process behind V's mesmerizing blue hair, which was featured on the magazine's cover. This striking transformation was the result of a blend of artistry and careful planning intended to present a fresh image to the fans. Mujin drew inspiration for the unique blue hue from the atmosphere of the acclaimed film Call Me By Your Name, opting for a European-style pale blue reminiscent of watercolors. This choice was in line with the story, design, and concept envisaged by Harper's Bazaar, aiming to evoke a specific mood. The preparation for this look involved a detailed wig test fitting the day before the photo shoot. Despite potential concerns about the color making V appear too flashy, Mujin focused on achieving a natural and relaxed look, harmonizing the styling with V's distinct facial features. On the day of the shoot, each outfit change required minor adjustments to the hair length, resulting in around six to seven cuts. Mujin particularly highlighted the initial long-haired style as a standout, expressing satisfaction with having uncovered another aspect of V's charm through this experimental approach. For fans aspiring to emulate V's long hairstyle, Mujin offered some advice. He suggested considering the proportions and structure of the head, advising against long hairstyles for those with a wide head or developed temples to maintain a balanced appearance. Additionally, Mujin shared some professional tips for those wanting to replicate V's unique cover style. He emphasized the importance of texture, recommending the use of products like Savoie Professional Texturizer for a natural covering style, and Sabin Animator for achieving a fresh, wet hair look without any stickiness or hardness. In recent times, clips from Suga's D-Day Live in Japan DVD have been circulating online, captivating fans with insights into his solo concert tour. One particular clip that has gained significant traction on social media features the BTS member discussing his plans for an encore concert in Seoul. In this clip, Suga reveals his unique approach to announcing the encore dates. He chose a Bono Bono-style design for the concert series poster, a creative decision that has since become an iconic element among fans. 
It was revealed that the idea for this whimsical poster design originated from Suga himself. In the DVD, he is seen sharing his vision for the poster, expressing his desire to incorporate Bonobono-style elements, and straightforwardly announce the details of the three-show series scheduled for August 4th to 6th at the KSPO Dome. This revelation sparked a wave of amused reactions from fans online. One fan humorously commented on the playful and informal nature of Suga's approach to the announcement. Suga's D-Day tour marked a significant milestone, as he was the first BTS member to embark on a solo world tour, following the release of his album D-Day the previous year. The tour was initially set to conclude with a concert at Jamsil Indoor Stadium on June 25th. However, to the surprise of fans, Suga extended the tour by adding new dates in Seoul, dubbing the final shows Agus D. Did Die the final. The announcement of these Encore concerts, made on June 25, Korean Standard Time, left fans both shocked and excited. As word spread about Suga's personal involvement in the poster's design, social media was abuzz with reactions. Fans praised his creative input, with one admirer noting how fitting it was for Suga to request an announcement design that resembled something crafted by a young enthusiast. The concluding segment of Suga's first solo world tour was held at the Olympic Gymnastic Arena, KSPO Dome, in Seoul. The series of concerts saw guest performances by other BTS members, with Jungkook joining Suga on August 4th to perform his solo debut, Seven. The following day, Jimin took the stage with his solo track, Like Crazy. On the final day, August 6th, RM appeared as a guest to perform an unreleased song. Meanwhile, Jin and J-Hope were present in the audience, showing their support for Suga's monumental solo concert finale. Fans were treated to a nostalgic moment when a video clip from Suga's 2023 D-Day World Tour resurfaced online. This particular clip, taken from the D-Day Japan DVD, showcased Suga engaging in a this or that questionnaire. Faced with the choice between J-Hope's laughter and Jin's dad jokes to uplift him during tough times, Suga expressed a preference for J-Hope's laughter. This choice sparked playful reactions within the BTS ARMY community. Some fans humorously suggested on social media that Suga's preference was fueling divorce allegations regarding his friendship with Jin. Suga embarked on his solo world tour, the Suga August D Tour, initially titled Suga Error. August D Tour, D Day, on April 26, 2023, following the release of his debut solo album, D Day. This global tour spanned 28 shows and concluded in Seoul, South Korea, on August 6, 2023. During this tour, Suga filmed a variety of promotional content, including the D-Day Japan DVD, which featured him answering several lighthearted questions with his characteristic humor and charm. In one of these segments, when asked about his go-to source of comfort during challenging times, Suga chose the sound of J-Hope's lofter. Fans, familiar with BTS since their debut in 2013, have often heard Suga mention drawing strength from J-Hope, whom he affectionately refers to as human vitamin. At the same time, fans are well aware of the close bond and sibling-like relationship between Yoongi and Jin, a camaraderie that dates back to their days as roommates during their trainee years. Following Suga's choice in the video, armies humorously speculated that Jin might playfully scold Suga for his selection. Some fans even joked about Jin being unable to retaliate with his dad jokes due to his military service. Amidst this lighthearted uproar, Several fans also pointed out that, in reality, Suga often finds Jin's jokes amusing, as evidenced in various BTS variety shows like Bon Voyage and In the Soup. In other news, Min Yoongi enlisted for his mandatory military service on September 22, 2023. Unlike other BTS members, he is serving as a public service worker due to a previous shoulder injury. His enlistment period is set to last for 21 months, during which time fans eagerly await his return. On January 26th, the online community was abuzz with news regarding P-Dog, a key figure in HYBE's music production team, possibly no longer being part of the company's staff. This speculation was fueled by a Twitter post, who shared a screenshot from the Korean Music Copyright Association, Comca, website. The screenshot interestingly showed P-Dog's name without the usual music publisher tag associated with it. This development led to various online discussions. While BTS's Jimin was listed as a lyricist and composer under High B as his music publisher, P Dog's name was conspicuously missing this association, leading to numerous questions among fans. One fan expressed excitement on social media about the prospect of P Dog starting his own label, 
and the possibility of BTS member Jimin joining it. Others speculated that this might just be a temporary technical error. It's important to note that all this discussion on social media is based on speculation and not confirmed information. P-Dog has been an integral part of HYBE, working as a composer, songwriter, and record producer. He's been the force behind several of BTS's international hits like Butter, Spring Day, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Fake Love, and Dynamite. In a 2022 interview with the Korea Herald, P-Dog shared insights into BTS's music-making process, emphasizing their desire to weave the members' narratives, emotions, and ideas into their songs. He also mentioned that the the most beautiful moment in life. Trilogy, BTS's third album series from 2015 to 2016, held a special place in his heart. In the same interview, he confided to Bang PD, Hybe's founder, about his career plans. P-Dog had reportedly stated that his departure from Hebe would coincide with his retirement from the music industry. Many fans have expressed their appreciation for P-Dog's role in encouraging Jimin's artistic endeavors and his significant contributions to both Jimin's solo album, Face, and other BTS group projects. However, there's also speculation about whether P-Dog is actually retiring or if he has simply changed his music publisher for royalty earnings. P-Dog began his journey with Hybe back in 2007. He was discovered by Bang PD, who recognized his talent through compositions shared on an online community. At that time, Hybe was facing financial challenges and was close to bankruptcy, barely managing to debut BTS. Inspired by Bang PD's vision, P Dog joined the company, contributing significantly to BTS's rise and helping Korean pop music gain international acclaim. With nearly two decades at Hybe alongside Bang PD, the recent Comkie credits have left fans puzzled. Some fans also recalled P-Dog's Instagram post where he mentioned Jimin will end K-pop in 2023 before the release of Face. Since BTS's debut in 2013, P-Dog has been a key producer behind many of their biggest hits and played a pivotal role in the production of Jimin's solo album, Face. In addition to his work with BTS, P-Dog's achievements include receiving the Best Producer Award at the 2018 Asia Artist Awards and the Composer of the Year Award at the 2017 Gaon Chart Music Awards. He was also nominated for Album of the Year, Producer, at the 2023 Grammy Awards for Music of the Spheres. His accolades also encompass winning the Mnet Asian Music Awards, Best Producer of the Year from 2017 to 2020, and the Grand Prize at the Korea Music Copyright Awards from 2019 to 2023.